Hello and welcome to the Arca series. We are at Talladega. And, uh, you know, <laughs> super speedway racing. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Um, I'm not too enthusiastic about it, but uh, I figure, okay, I'm like eighth in uh, championship points in the season so far, and you kind of have to participate in one of the super speedway races if you want to. Uh, if you want to get uh, some solid championship points. Uh, I don't care that much, but I figure I might as well if I'm doing okay in the Arca standings. Try to get some more points here instead of skipping the week. And uh, on top of that, maybe it won't be so bad. Um, can't really bump draft in this car, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. The, it could be a good thing if it means that uh, the racing can be a little bit cleaner. No one's trying to push and um, push it to the limit, literally. Uh, like they would in other cars. Uh, it could be a bad thing though because people are going to try to push anyway and it's not going to work. So we'll see which of those things happen. Uh, the plan here is qualify, try to stay up front as much as we can because there are no cautions here. No cautions in Arca series as usual and that's a unique beast to deal with at a super speedway. Of course, uh, you know, if there's a huge wreck, we're not going to want to be behind it. You have to check up for it, your chances are pretty much done. So the idea is to try to be in front of the chaos. So that means uh, we're going to do our best, do some qualifying here. I'm actually going to put my force feedback all the way down. Because when you got force feedback on and you're getting resistance in the wheel, that's scrubbing speed off. So it feels weird, but... It can help, and I think, uh, like I said, qualifying is going to be important here. So we're, uh, I'm racing a dead wheel <laughs> at the moment. I guess we'll try to uh, put this at session best, see what we can do. First lap is going to be getting up to speed, because <clears throat> uh, we're not up to speed quite yet. We'll see what we are at the line, and I'm sure it's going to be... Uh, faster the next time around. 178 is what we were at. We're going to run up by this dotted line. Not exactly next to the wall though because uh, there is a bit of drag you get from the wall aerodynamically. That slows down your car just a, a little bit and every thousandth of a second counts whenever you're just putting the pedal to the floor and uh, driving in a circle or a triangle? Talladega is kind of like a triangle, isn't it? I don't know. It's a Talladega. It's its own. It's its own thing, I guess. You can see here we're going to be going well over 178 this time around, and uh, we're going to come down here, and we're just going to try to stick to that yellow line as closely as possible. You can see we're going faster. Session best lap is going to increase. Of course, we're down at the bottom, so we're going to go much faster. You know, let go of the wheel as it fades out to the middle. And uh, force feedback not dragging the, the car around at all. And aim for the entry of the corner here and just let it roll in there. Now I'm going to start turning. Keep it as close to that yellow line as possible. Go with the wheel drift up just a little bit, but not as much. I don't know if you want to take the apron here. That's one thing I'm unsure about. We're going to stay on the track. And just wrap it around. Like that. And we got a 53-263. Good for pole right now, but people are still putting their laps in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see the 8 overtakes us. That's fine, so long as we're uh, as close to the front as we can be. I'll put that force feedback back on to where I want it. I guess I can't. I had it at 6.8, but I guess I can't get that uh, specific. For some reason, autos me to like way too much. Okay, fine. We'll do uh, 6.5, I guess. Since it's uh, wanting to do iterations of 0.5 now. 
Right now it looks like we'll be leading off that second lane. See if it lasts. There were like 120 people signed up or something like that. Actually like 140. Huge participation as usual uh, at the super speedways. And yet we're in a 2.5k strength of field in what I assume must be the top split. I mean I'm a 5.8k uh, I rating. So I it must be top split unless they've got just the craziest high uh, top split ever. But, uh, start P2 at the moment. We'll see if that lasts only about 30 seconds until we start gridding up. So, probably going to be where we start. Check out this all right. Yeah, leaving my brake bias up, so that way if I do have to brake for something, I can brake even better. I might even put it up, but I think this will be fine. Doing 12 to 1, because that's just what I'm used to. I run 12 to 1 everywhere. It's not going to matter too much here, though. A little bit of a snore fest uh, if you're not into this kind of racing. Everyone's going to be racing close, but I'm, there's not really going to be anything to do until That's about lap 18, probably. Um, other than trying not to fall back too far, I might change some lanes. I'm not going to be aggressive, but try to be at least assertive, I guess, as a way to put it. Because I don't want to fall too far back. One and we'll see, maybe the second lane will be pretty good. We'll uh, put our all-time best lap up just for fun. See if we can beat that, I guess. <clears throat> uh, strength of field, like I said, 2.5k estimate from Race Lab. Um, just uh, in, in uh, the practice, the open practice before heading into the session here. Saw some dumb stuff, people intentionally wrecking and all that. Just kind of what you would sort of, sort of expect, I think from uh, super speedway crowds on iRacing. So just kind of an unfortunate thing. But hopefully they take it seriously here during the race. I would like to have a nice finish and not end up in a big wreck. Uh, I'm gonna be one attempt here. This is my one attempt. And if it doesn't go well, then I'm not surprised. <laughs> and uh, that'll just be that. I'll try not to be too negative, despite not being a huge fan of this kind of Driving. I don't know what that was. Sounded like a seal. Flapping. Bouncing a ball on his nose, I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, 20 laps. Could be a pretty quick one, I, I hope. But. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, at least we can, uh, we can hopefully have a better race than uh, some other super yeah, speedway races. If guys are not using their bumpers, they could very well just slam into the back of me anyway, even though everybody should know by now. You can't do that. But I got wrecked in, in the open practice because someone bump drafted me. Just absolutely slammed into the back of me. With predictable results. So, maybe people don't know. Doesn't really matter how much of a jump we get, it's all going to be about the draft. In fact, a better jump might be worse because they might try to take me three wide immediately and uh, get the run around me. So I'll probably want to get just an average jump. It's probably the best I can hope for. And then uh, just hope things work out. Hope nobody runs into the back of me. Hope nobody gets hooked into me. There's only so much I can do. Bit of a lottery here. At Talladega. We'll see if we can keep the track position, and if there is a big wreck, we can be in front of it. Looking at the safety ratings around me on Race Lab, which you can't see, but I can. Uh, <laughs> Not very, uh, not very comforting, we'll put it that way. But, you know, if, uh, if you're a, a huge fan of super speedway racing and you've done this a ton of times this week, you could be perfectly fine at this, you can be great at this. And just because you're constantly doing super speedway races and getting caught in wrecks that aren't your fault, 
your safety rating could plummet. So, who knows? Maybe they're just fine. They race just fine. To go green. Stay focused. Sometimes you just have to hope you're with a good group of guys. We'll see what we get in this one. You can go about any time now. Okay, Colton, car is off. Time to do your job. Go. Green flag, green flag. Pit road is now open. Okay. The next car is the leader. We are going. And they're three wide already. I am just in shock. I can't believe they would do that. That was sarcasm. I'll just hold this middle lane. He looks like he's ready to come block me, but I am here. I hope that guy's not bump drafting me. I'm good on bump drafts, thanks. If you want to go around me, you can. Not willing to take that risk. Maybe that makes me a lame-o, but... <laughs> like, wh what's, uh, what's the benefit there? You get uh, a thousandth of a second, and you roll the dice, that uh, car's gonna get turned. Yeah, I'm not so much into it. Not on lap one, for sure. Outside land coming by. They've got a big run. And they're blinking, so we're not gonna survive. There's no way. Clear, two wide. You're in the middle, three wide. Still there. Still there. Still there, still there. I'm going to land got a little bit of momentum right now. Not that it matters. I'm just sitting here hoping we don't die for a while. I'm going to land gets a good run up there. Make sure we don't run into the guy head. Fortunately, we're falling back a little bit, but there's nothing really I can do about it. We can't really change lanes or anything, because they're, uh, they're on both sides of us. I wonder if car temp, engine temp, is going to be a thing. Because we are really close to the back bumper of this guy and obviously going almost full throttle the whole time. We'll get a warning. I'll put on the uh, dash if necessary. Just keeping it steady. Hold your line. Pretty good run for the middle lane here out of the corner. bottom lane though gonna be the best around corners on the middle tight up in front here the four kind of an awkward spot there on the track 
the lane kind of disappears on the bottom. Hold your line, right side, two wide. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Hopefully on the outside, which is interesting. Might think about jumping out there if I see a big run coming, I don't know. Then again, if I jump in front of them, will they lift for me? That's a good question. We are moving back a little bit though, we got people moving their lane and all. The more people in our lane, the more momentum we'll have. Is the Ford bump drafting that guy? I hope not. really don't think that's a good idea. They look pretty unsettled. Making it even more of a bad yeah. idea. The car inside. Still there. Clear inside. Car Still not even halfway done with this thing. The next car is Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there. Still inside. Ooh, someone kind of peeking up into my lane a little bit there down there. I saw them too much of their car. <laughs> a little more than I'm comfortable with seeing at that point in the track. Fastest lap so far. I think all time best isn't accurate. We're not getting a best lap every time. It's just not counting them uh, in the data because of draft, I guess. Big round for the outside lane. I'm content here. You're in the middle. Three wide. Three wide. Still there. Still there. Still hold. Oh my gosh, they're wiggly. I always wonder if I'm as wiggly as they seem to be at these places, because everyone seems a little wiggly all the time. Oh, that's very tight on the outside. Could just be the connection that makes them look wiggly, though. Hold your line. Oh my god. Still Just hoping there. to be in front Still of it there. if it gets weird. Still Good car up ahead. Kind of had a chance to, uh,. Cover the bottom lane, chose not to. I think he maybe likes the middle lane. That's informative to us and what maybe we want from this. Everyone's getting a little closer, it feels like. Just discomforting. Oh my gosh, the 18's pinching really hard in that outside lane. Really not looking so good all of a sudden. Big check up because the guy is spinning. Up the line. Get by that somehow. Gonna go middle since there's a lot of free real estate up here. Still hold. Gotta do a big lift. Inside, <clears throat> too wide. Still there at the bottom. And they're filing in, so. Stay high. The next car's the leader. Got that unmuted, yeah. No one said Still anything there. about that. No help out here. All of a sudden. They're looking to go inside. single file. Which I guess we will just have to be content with. Bottom here. Same side. You're up top three wide. 
Some steal is about to happen. They got a huge run there, and they're not going to want to lift, I bet. Hold you on. Right four wide right there. So we're going to be on the outside then. Septon's shoving his way in. We've been shuffled back. Outside lanes have not been kind to us. Unfortunately. Still there at bottom. Clear inside. Inside. Need to run for us here. See if we can support this middle lane. Keep high. Still there, hold your line. 14 I've raced before. He's on a uh Alt account right now, it looks like, though. This, who would enter a super speedway race on their main account? Am I right? What kind of crazy person would do that? Speaking of crazy person, I hope that person, lap car up ahead, is not going to stay on the track. And he is. What an idiot. Still there, inside. You're up top, three wide. Inside, two wide. Still there at the bottom. What a dick. Absolute moron. Besides, Still he's inside. just gonna sit on the bottom You're lane while well, there are two, three wide coming up on him. Still there. Inside, two wide. Still there, inside. Still there at the bottom. There's not too much energy in this middle lane, unfortunately. Real close up on him. Not touching, can't touch. The next car's the leader. Still there at the bottom. Okay, Colton, next car is. Can very lightly, but I'm not going to. Like I said before, not Still worth the risk to me. Not on lap 15. Maybe lap 20 come with a checker. It's when it starts becoming a worthy gamble, but not now. Keep high. Too much race to go. Keep high. You got five laps to go. Podium is looking good. You're now in third. The next car's the leader. We're in not such a bad position. The second lane's gotten a little bit more energy over time. Whoa, 14 holding up really tight. Really help, but dangerous too, because you don't know if the guy below is going to give that room. It's never a guarantee. I mean, he's got a pretty good amount of momentum right now. Block the second lane once he has the opportunity. That 18 up there. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Keep high. Not looking like the middle lane's going to be the one that gets the checkered flag first. It's looking like the bottom lane wants. Got a middle lane coming up now, though. Still there. Still there. Still home. 
Gonna get a run out of the corner. Haven't wrecked yet, but it's getting close to that time where it's going to start happening. I mean, they did wreck, but we have not been part of it. Something sounds like it's happening below us. Just got real close to our door. I need a tap. Did you get it? Ah, uh, not quite enough. Good job. Ooh. Very good job. I can't believe that didn't end in a wreck. Good race, guys. Good win. Yeah, that was awesome. Winning for the wreck. <laughs> Okay, it's still making bizarre noises, but a uh, good race to him too, I guess. If that's what <laughs> when he's trying to say in whatever language that is. Um, well, we get P4. We keep it clean somehow. I'm very surprised. You know, pleasantly surprised. But surprised. Let's see how close that was. 0 .005. I gave my best. I tried to Send the 14 up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, just not quite there. Uh, maybe I drifted up just a little bit too much at the, at the last second there. I wasn't even trying to. Just kind of bounced up that way a little bit. And, uh, <laughs> about as close as it gets. <clears throat> How about that? A clean uh, Super Subaru race. Other than the one accident that happened, and we'll take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. I should have uh, held it to that white line. But uh, kind of just drifted up a little bit, and uh, I don't know if that would have made the difference or not, but... Thought he had it. Or just gave a more aggressive of a push. The 18 was able to get it. So congrats to him. Getting the win. We'll get P4 for a top 5. Race Lab says we're going to lose one I rating. But who cares about that. Um, we survived. And that is just about the greatest accomplishment, <laughs> accomplishment you can get from a super speedway race. So uh, let's see. Lap 10. Is this the uh, accident that happened? Yeah, the 18 kind of runs through the uh, 8, so you hate to see that. The guy that eventually won is the one that caused the wreck. But it might have been a late move, too. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, that's pretty... Uh, that's That might actually be on the uh, 
on the 8 there. He kind of comes up real late. Very late block, so I don't think that's on the 18, really. The 8's uh, switching lanes right in front of him, and not really even giving him a chance to lift for him. That'll send him around, and uh, thankfully we are able to get through it. It all spun down to the bottom. We're lucky no one got hooked back toward the top. You can see how this looked for us. I just saw him spinning to the inside, so I'm like, all right, we'll move over to the right. Don't want to go all the way to the right, though, because we got people out there. Can't lift, either. I lift a little bit. And, uh, thank you to the 21 for checking up. Normally, people don't. Oh, the 21's a uh, guy who makes noises. You know what? You're a pretty cool guy, guy who makes noises. You even got the Wood Brothers car going on, 21. Very nice. They all move to the inside. Thankfully it stays down low. And we'll get around it. No trouble. Narrowed uh, the, the field up here a little bit. Then I went middle. So I had a lot of momentum and I saw that uh, we'd have draft in that middle lane. Despite there being a temporary lack of uh, support in there. So I decided I'd go... Go middle, see what was there. And I saw the middle lane, or the high lane going pretty fast. Unfortunately, uh, it all got abandoned and went single file, so it didn't, didn't really matter. But Then we've got, uh, this is the white flag. Five kind of just forcing his way through. How did he get there? Okay, so the, the 17 is kind of going up to take that higher lane. And the five finds his way in the middle of it. I think uh, 17 just has to move up once he gets the three wide call. Tough situation. People being aggressive, uh, going for spots. What you have to do. I thought I heard something happen behind. Oh, no. Maybe not. Because um, this is just after the race, so. That was it. We got these guys back here, maybe just lost the draft, I guess. Some guys that were caught in the wreck. Guys off the, uh, off the pack. And that was the checkered flag. So, yeah, that'll do it. Um, that was super speedway racing. A little less wrecking than usual, but that's pretty much what super speedway racing is. As I figured it would be. We get P4. I'm happy with that. We'll look at the race results and see if I truly did lose one entire I rating for my fourth place. Or if uh, it's actually a different story. Uh, no, yep. One I rating lost. And we uh, were within a tenth of the win. <laughs> pretty... Pretty darn close there on the finish. I guess this lap goes to the 17. That just means he was in the draft for a good while. And, uh, pretty good stuff. I mean, we had a couple 4Xs from guys involved in the one wreck, I guess. And then more people that didn't really survive it down near the bottom. But, uh, that will do it. Thank you for watching. I did a super speedway race. That's kind of rare. <laughs> but, uh, at least we uh, we made it out of this one alive. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a good one. See ya.